Hello and welcome back to another part of Design Your Own Level tutorial. In this tutorial, what we will be doing is, well, let me just hide all of these. Um, couch side and the couch base. We will be creating the legs for our couch. So essentially, we will be creating four legs or just one leg that we will duplicate four times and then we'll put it underneath all the other couches as we need them. So this is going to be a very a fairly easy process and it all really depends on what you want to do so for me i want fairly round corners because i have a couch that has like a like a round leg that points out like this um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit shift a well first i'm going to hit shift c and make sure that my 3d cursor is centered and then shift a and we are going to add let us do a circle just a normal circle and we're going to change its vertices. I think 12 should be okay. 12 should be fine. Because it is a fairly small detail that no one will really ever see unless they like try and climb in underneath the couch inside of the game. Which I doubt will happen. But uh, we, we just don't know. So from here what I'm going to do is with the circle selected. I just want to make sure that it's roughly at the front and it's going to be in the center over there then i'm going to tap to go into edit mode i'm going to hit e to extrude oh, let's just make sure that vertex mode is selected e to extrude and we're going to extrude it up but now you already see the colors are fairly dark uh, and the reason for that is, is for some reason it already flipped the normals so what we're going to do is just select it mesh normals recalculate outside and there we go and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit alt and right click i see my screen cost keys is disabled again i do apologize but let's just enable them again and i am going to hit e to extrude and i'm going to scale this inwards and then what i'm going to do is then just e to extrude and i'm going to like scale this down again I actually think that maybe this scale should have been smaller. And then we could do something like this. I'll make sure that it's rotated all the way to... Well, let's not rotate. Let's just make sure that it uh, is the way it's supposed to be. Let's do it like this and then just move it up. And then scale it. Kind of starting to look like a like a lunar lander pad but that's okay uh, so for me that that is more than sufficient detail you can like move it out a little bit and we enable smooth shading now another thing is we can fill this bottom gap if we really want to but you have to start thinking about it from your level perspective if you're not going to use this this couch for anything other than the purpose of creating uh, something in this one level, then there would be no reason actually to fill certain gaps. So um, try and save um, faces and, and uh, where you basically can. I mean, even in this instance, the bottom side of the couch is completely useless. I don't think the player will ever see it. So uh, we could effectively get rid of it and no one will actually ever notice. But what we are going to do is then just, um, we, we will fill this. What I'll do is just hit if to fill, or better yet, uh, we want it to be like a triangle area. So I'll hit E to extrude, and then I'm going to click merge at center. And then you'll see it's got like your little pizza slices. There you go. And that would effectively be our leg. I'll say that that is more than sufficient for what we're going for. Uh, we could have m added round corners if we really wanted to. It's not that difficult. You could just make a, a cube itself and that should be sufficient. But this is a little bit more detailed than normal. So that is actually what we were going for. So all that I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this mesh. Let's quickly see what happens if I unwrap, because I've had some problems unwrapping before. Okay, so that's what it looks like. But we need to join it with this mesh over here. So we're going to have to select both and hit Control J to join them. And then in edit mode, select this one. 
select the vertex and hit Control L to select everything. And we go into the UV image editor. And let's just see again if we hit unwrap now, if it's a little bit better. It's still the same, but now we can add like, a, a, let's quickly hide this. We're going to add a seam. We hold Alt, you right click and E. Oop. I can control E, sorry, and mark a seam, and we'll select it all the way down like that. Control E, and we'll mark a seam. Let's actually just see what that looks like if we unwrap it. That actually doesn't look too bad. I think we can use that. Uh, all that we'll do is we'll select the edges and then scale Y zero. And we can actually do this with all of them. Unfortunately, you have to do them individually because if you do them together, uh, I'll quickly show what happens. It does that, which um, will be a pain if you actually want to texture this. Okay, so I'm just going to go through every single one. Now, this actually doesn't matter all that much. The fact that it just has a UV is what matters. Um, because I am not really going to apply a proper texture to this. I, um, I don't uh, really want to create a texture that will be utilized. I don't want to waste any um, memory really on this. But even though it's going to be on the same texture, so it probably will not matter. But what we're going to do with this is we're just going to go into our 3D view, unhide, and make sure that our whole model with its selection is selected. Go back into the UV, UV image editor, and now you'll see that, uh, okay, well, it's overlapping everything. So just select one of its corners, control L, and then we scale it down. Because it's a very small part, I think, let's rotate it like that. That is more than sufficient space for it. But now we don't have to make space for like additional four of them. Because we have this one model already set up, if we just duplicate it, and move it to the position that we want. And let's do it. It's actually with all four corners. Uh, we're going to scale on negative Y axis. If we do it like this, and we go into the UV image editor. Well, let me split it off to show you. Into the UV image editor, you'll see that each one of them uses the same UV space. So for this purpose, that is perfect. We it does not matter that it's using the same UV space. Um, we we can live with that. It will uh, because it's not a large integral part really of the couch. It's not the major detail. I mean, you probably barely will see it, but it's just enough detail so that we actually um, need to apply something to it. So here's what I did. I added a little UV to it, but now all four of these use the same UV island, so that is fine. We can once again copy these over, join them onto this couch over here, and then we shouldn't have a problem. So let's just quickly do that. I, I just quickly want to show you, because there is like a, a little bit of a trick to it. Um, we're going to duplicate them, Shift D, and then move them over. So okay, well now we got them over to the couch. Uh, maybe a little bit more to the side. Okay. Um, also, just another thing before you use all of them, because I scaled these ones on negative Y, I didn't mirror them. Their normals will be inverted, so we just need to recalculate them. The same with these ones over here, because I duplicated them from the other ones. We just need to um, recalculate outside. And then you need to just push the button P if you have two of them selected. Well, actually, we need all four of these selected. Apologies. Uh, hit P and separate by selection. And then you hit uh, tab into object mode, select your couch, select the legs, and hit Control J to join them. 
and actually I believe if we go into the UV you'll see that there is those islands but we can't just hit control L and grab we actually need to drag and select so it makes sure that it selects all of them and then move them over here okay so now both of these already have their legs set up so that is essentially our couch completely done this is how we're going to use it inside of the game if you um, watch my like in between video the previous in between video you'll see that the texturing process is going to be very easy and we're mainly going to do that inside of unreal engine 4 we won't require to do it in here uh, we might just uh, we might just run into some difficulty with the legs but i believe i can apply a separate material to those legs so we'll i i will show you how to do that in the next video um, so if you like what you saw, leave a like, uh, if you didn't, you can leave a dislike, uh, subscribe and leave a comment and I will see you in the next video.